we got our custom conversion set up. Let's click on the middle tab, ad sets for one campaign, the middle tab. And then right here, this is where we'll set up multiple ad sets. So let's do this first, check the box. And then just, just hit duplicate. You can do it from right here. You can do it from when you're more in it, but we could just do it from right here. And let's put, let's put um, three, take that, take that number one of three. Okay, cool. So this is where we'll simply, now you got your master copy, which is the one at the top. And then you got down, you got copy, copy, copy. So right. that's where we're going to be. So we're going to be in new ad set copy, that first one right there, right. which is where we're at right now, I think. Actually, no, yeah, perfect. Now we're there. So right here, now the first ad set, in fact, let's start from the first ad set because we don't even have a target on that one yet. So click on new ad right. set. Yeah, that one right there. Perfect. So right here, we start right here. Now we're going to choose four different targeting, four, four different, we're going to target one city, Right, we're gonna target your city. Let's let's. I don't know what is it. Is it Atlanta? Atlanta, yeah. Okay, those, we're targeting Atlanta, but we're gonna target four different keywords. Those are gonna be our ad sets. Okay. So one keyword, um, and in fact, you know what? Like, so so scroll down. We don't even know what that word is yet. Scroll down. So let let's go down. Let's let's put our conversion event in there. There's our conversion event. Perfect. And then um, let's see. Go back up real quick. Anything else we missed up? Okay, so we're good. We're good. We're good. Pixel conversion event. We're good. Go down, go down, go down. Budget and schedule. Let's set this, this calendar real quick. I want this to, I'm going to put Thursday just in case I okay. need to um, edit some stuff on the website because I still okay. have to set up my sequences okay. properly. So I'll go 6 a.m. And that's, um, yeah, see, yours is showing Pacific time, which is fine, but... Um, we got to change that in the business settings. So we'll, we'll oh. change that later, but um, that's fine. So let it run for whatever you set for. What'd you set for 10 days? Yeah. Well, yeah, I think it was, it was 14 days. Okay. So. Yeah. So set that calendar. Um, Three, four, five, and, and here's a good rule of thumb as well. Once we set this ad live, just make sure it approves, make sure it goes through, make sure it's active. But right. after that, and I'm going to challenge you, I'm going to challenge you, and I guarantee you, you would lose this challenge. If I bet you right now the house, I'm going to bet you the house right now, you would lose the house right now, what, what, okay. what, what I'm about to tell you. But it's just a challenge. I challenge you to not look at the damn thing until four days in. Okay. Oh. Right? You, 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 you would lose that bet, boy. You would lose that bet. Because you're going to be in this thing every damn half hour looking at the damn numbers yeah you know, and, and don't like don't like don't you can but don't worry about it like don't even trip like let it let it run like let it run for a few days and then we analyze it after after four days on the fourth right. day we'll take a look at it you know at the four on the fourth day and what we're looking at is we're looking at these ad sets we're looking at which ones are performing and which ones aren't you know right. it's, it's that simple so okay. um 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 so we got the we got the calendar we scroll down and so in the future, this is where you'd be putting in your custom audiences, right? Right. Custom audiences are going to be people who are watching your shit. So people who are watching your videos, that's going to be a custom audience. People who are landing on your landing page, but not opting in. Those are your custom audiences. Those are two right. audiences that you'll always retarget. You'll always put them in right there. And then okay. the ones that you'll always exclude is the audience who lands on your thank you page. Right. So, so, so we got to make sure that those custom audiences are set up. So those who land on that thank you page, you better always be excluding them from ad number two and on. Right. 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 So we don't need to do that right now. We're on ad number one. So we'll, we'll leave that part as is, but hit the locations, change that United States and go Atlanta. And so one way of creating multiple ad sets and all this is, is split testing. That's all this is, is split testing. We're split testing different keywords. That's all we're doing. But one way to do it is that way, split testing keywords. And then another way to do it is split testing cities. Right. So in your case, I would just stick with Atlanta and we're going to just split test keywords. Okay. Okay. So, so go, you trying to go out 50? Well, if it's digital, I mean, you know, you never know. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. I love yeah. the way you're thinking. You're right. You're right. Okay, so leave it. Leave it fifty, and then scroll down, 
And then what we're going to do, actually, you know what? Go back up real quick. Go back up. You got to always, because by default, be, by default, look where it has you. People living in or recently in this location. I don't want that. I need people living in this location. So hit the drop down. Always make sure you do that at the drop down. People living in this location. Um, Perfect. That makes a huge difference. Okay, so yeah. scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. And then right here, we want gender. We want to change that. I mean, not the gender, but we want the age. We want to change the age because most likely, you know, the people we're targeting are not 18, 19, 20, 21. They're probably not even 23. So you want to make sure you know that age, like your ideal customer, 30 to 65. You know, you can leave that. That'd be good. 30 to 65. Right. And then another thing that that's, that's one thing you could, you can test as well. So multiple ad sets is when you're choosing different cities, maybe even choosing a different age, maybe even choosing a different gender, and then for sure cha- uh, choosing different target keywords. Right. So, okay. so that you can you could play around with all of those on on each ad set, um, or as long as you know your age, okay, for sure it's thirty to sixty five. Okay, cool. So let's leave that as is for all four, and let's just focus on the keywords. For the targeting so you can that's what i suggest you do just focus on the keywords leave everything you know make sure all four are 30 to 65 um and now let's just focus on the detail targeting so that detail targeting we're gonna go um we're gonna go we're gonna hit edit and we're gonna choose that one word so so when it comes down to it since you're running a very general type of ad and you're not really focusing on one type of person or, or excuse me, when you're not really focused on one type of business. Mm. One um, 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 good keyword could be um, type in type in business page admins. Let's see if, if business page admins, business page admins, admins. right there. Okay. So, so is there any other uh, one other than behavior or is behavior the scroll down more, scroll down more. Let's look at everything that's saying. Scroll down. Actually, you close close the, no, move the whole. Yeah. yeah no, you can't close that, but just go up and scroll down from there. Yeah. Scroll down from there. Okay. We go. There we go. Let's look at all that shit. So oh, hold on. Goodness. so this is a very, very popular or very, very powerful one because yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, it is under behavior. So people who are an admin of a business page on Facebook. Right. So it's right. like, shit, bro, that's freaking, that's everyone who has a business page, right? True. That's freaking pretty, pretty powerful. So I would probably go with that one. Hit, hit that one. Or, or you oh, know what? Uh, there, there was other hit suggestions. There was other variations of it. Let's look at, so we got Facebook page admins. So which one has the most? This one has 367 million. million. What was, but that's not, that's not, that's not food an exact number. Ooh, Small business. Ooh, ooh, there you go. Food and restaurant page admins. Okay. I mean, that's a good one Health too. Health and beauty page admins. So look, so this might be where we want to split ah, test. Yeah, that's definitely that was, oh, that was amazing. That's really yeah, going to open that's up. That's what we want to do. So, so let's Let's remember that, um, but right here, we're going to go with one keyword. So this one, mm-hmm. business page admins. So let's go to the very top, very, very top, very, very top. Let's rename it right here at the top. We're going to go Atlanta dash business page admins. That's the keyword. And and then maybe just go 30 to 65. Okay. Bam, that's it. That's it. Okay. That's this one right here. That's it. So scroll to the very bottom. Let's go to let's go to the bottom real quick. We got everything. I've got calendar. Got all that. Um, now, now again, you can run it only on IG, or you can run it all across the board. It's up to you. What do you want to do? I think I would try a right there across all across the board first. Okay. Okay. So that's that's automatic. So yeah. If you want to go um, IG, you would hit manual placement. Hit manual placement. This is how you run an IG one. So you hit manual placement and then you um, scroll down and then all you're going to do is uncheck everything except for Instagram. And, and that's, uh, that's one ad set. So you can, you can go one ad set IG. Right. Right. And, to, and then that will be right. Okay. Okay. So when I'm doing it on the, so that will be a separate ad set in itself. So yep. I can IG would be okay. a separate ad set. That'd be your three of four, for example. 
Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so let's, in fact, why don't we do that? Why don't we go ahead and, and, and go up, go up to the top, go up a little bit. Let's go back to automatic, choose uh, no down, go back to automatic, mm. automatic. And then, and then put that in the title as well. Just put AP, AP for automatic placement, put dash AP. So, so you know that this one ad set is for automatic placement. Right. Perfect. And that's it. So scroll to the very bottom. Let's see what else we got. We're done. I think we're done. Um, let's go. Okay, cool. So now, now that's the first one. Now click on copy to the left. And all we're going to do is change out that keyword. So we're at the copy. Now go down to the, to the, everything else is the same. Um, other than, other than the title and the, and the, and the calendar. Right. So you want to you want to change that so so that calendar yeah go to name this one and what you can do watch go back to the go back to the the Atlanta business to the left the second tab the ad set tab click on that copy that copy that right there and just bring it over copy that and then go to the to the next one and and paste it in right there cuz all we're going to do is we're going to change out that one keyword everything else is going to stay the same all we're right. going to do is change out business page admin I so, think the other one was Facebook page something. Or something like but, but we got to figure out what that is. Yeah, so so that one's that. There you go there. And then and then down the calendar. 17 to 30. See, the reason why we're going to now have to manually change each one individually now as we go throughout the rest of them is because we created four ad sets from the beginning. Right. And so all it did is it cloned everything before it was set up. Now, right. as we go into each one, we got to redo each one. But if I, if I did it all on the first one mm -hmm. and then cloned it, I set the calendar, I set the, I set all that other shit, then cloned it, then duplicated it three times. I wouldn't have to change the calendar every time. Right. Very true. Um, so it's just the way we did it. It's all good. So Atlanta, we're going 50. And, and again, all we're going to do is, is change out that um, that keyword. So well, age, it's... yeah, we got to change the age. See, yeah, we wouldn't have had to do this if we cloned it the or if we duplicated it after we've already set the master copy. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's fine because long and, and then what was the thing that you said once I like if I want to go in and edit what what shouldn't I uh, adjust or what am I what's not a good idea to adjust yes. when you come once the ad is set once you click on that green button and publish it mm -hmm. don't change shit okay you can maybe change the title but other than that don't change shit don't change the age don't change the gender don't change the city don't change the keyword don't change shit. Right. You can um you can change the budget. You can change the budget. You can fluctuate the budget, but that that's about mm. it. Like that's about okay. it. You don't want to change anything else. Okay. So um let that go to um so business page admins hit suggestions okay. and then just choose a different thing. Is this one right? This was small business. No, oh. well, that's one, but you no. but but the other one was was health and beauty page admins, food and restaurant page admins. Yeah, that one was that one. And then yeah, delete the other ones and then and then just yeah. rename it at the top. It's not, <laughs> I'm trying to click this with off. It is not even so annoying. Okay. Oh damn. Hold on. And it was, where was it? Food and restaurant. Okay. And then food and restaurant. Yeah, so just name it, name it at the top if you didn't already. Yeah, rename it right there, and then um, and then just go to the next. Okay, food and resting. Okay. And then we're keeping the same. Okay, yeah, they'll. It's probably the same age group. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and 
automatic placement. Yeah, that's that's good right there. That's good right there. So just go to the third one and and do that one, the fourth one, and then and then we're good. And then we go on to the next step, and then we just publish. Okay. Let me do. What I want. Okay, so then we're good, man. Those are your four ad sets. So now, let's um, let's click on the ad. So at the very very top. Actually, yeah, you can go there. Click on add right there. New ad. And now let's just go into right here where we're going to make sure we choose the right page. And we're going to we're going to title it rather than new ad. We're going to we're going to make sure we title it. Uh, um, this is a small business. Maybe put like video one or first video or something like that. Very descriptive. We want to be very descriptive. Um, um, digital marketing. General. Yeah. Okay. So make sure your IG account is connected right there as well. Um, that's just add. Okay, so your IG account's not connected to this account. So go ahead and connect oh. it. Let's connect it. Oh, thank God. <laughs> like, oh, no. Oh, no. God, I don't. This is going to be great. Hold up. Um, and all we're going to do right there at the, bo the top, create ad, click on that, and go use existing post. Use existing post. And then just pull that video from your select post and pull that from your page. So hit select post. Oh, I didn't create the post yet. Oh, it's not on your business page yet? Video? No. Yeah, I haven't oh, ran it shit, yet. I thought, you, I thought you added it on your page. No, not yet. I was just like getting... Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So all you're going to do is, I mean, shit. I mean, just in the future, always put that, that video on the business page first and then come back here and start all this. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. that should go on the business page first. But in this case, just create ad then. Just create ad and then just pull that file from your computer. Oh. So mm. single image or video, and then just go ahead and click, just scroll down. Uh -huh. You should be able to um, add media and, and, and then find that video. So add video. And then you just click on upload. And if it's not here already, you can yeah, sure. upload. Is it that one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay, good. These don't matter, right? No, you could just leave it. You can leave it vertical. Well, go square. See, see what square looks like real quick. Hit square. So um, that's for in-stream videos, preferably. But yeah, that's yeah. You can you can leave it at that and go click on horizontal as well. Yeah. So leave it. Leave all of them checked. It's all good. Uh. Yeah, so then there's that. And then um, now what we need is we need the link for your landing page. So let's let's add that. So so let's, yeah, let's go to Kartra and grab that link. Okay, perfect. So let's grab the landing page, get code, perfect. And what you always oh, want to do too, bro, is, is, is Edit that link, edit that, take out that one, two, G5. And see, so you probably don't have a custom audience around this page. So well, I'm not confusing it is. Is that the right? Why is the, yeah, I'm like, where? Oh, here it is. I'm just like, what in the world? Yeah, see, delete, delete the ones that you ain't using, man. It's, you're going to get confused. I think I remember why I did it because I think I was trying to like set it up to where I would like have my services like the prices listed out mm -hmm. and try to do that, but that's how I was trying to figure out how to. Okay. Um, so I have to here. Yeah. Okay, cool. So now scroll down, and we're gonna go with learn more. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. You'll see right here. So, so again, now we're gonna have to write out some text, write out a headline, but then scroll down. 
you're going to go with that website URL right there. So paste in that right there and then, um, and then scroll down and we're going to go with, you should oh, see. I changed that picture. <laughs> that freeze frame. Okay. It's all learn more. So that um, there's, okay, perfect. So you're good with learn more. So now all you got to do is just click on, um, or actually you just got to write the text and the headline. Okay. So, for, oh. Yeah, the primary text and the headline would be good. Um, the headline could be download your free ebook now. Like that could be the headline, like a good call to action on the headline. Okay. That could be, that, that could be that. one. Yeah, see how it shows up right there to the right? Okay. Well, should I put, put tip T or something else? Because it's not technically yeah, a. Yeah, yeah, you could do that. Free. Now, perfect. Okay. Yeah, so um, that's the headline, and then um, and then you could split test different headlines as well. But um, so just write the text. Write the text. Yeah, the primary text, and then and then you're good. Um, which is uh, have a small business. Or should I say maybe you need help? Or have, have, have a small business and in need or have a small business and looking to capture more customers on social media or have a small business and looking for more customers on social media. So you always want to call out your ideal client, like call them out. Like, and it starts with a question, like right. you like have a small business and looking for more customers on social media. So if I read that, I'd be like, yeah, that's actually me, right? Right. So you, you'd capture my attention right away, like with something like that, with a simple question. I'm calling you know, out more than that, right? Don't over convolute the. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I just use the big word. <laughs> Have a small business and and looking for more customers on social media. Watch this short video and download your tip sheet now. That's something basic and simple and straight yeah. to the point. Uh, Watch this wait, short wait. video. Mm -hmm. watch this short video and download your free tip sheet or download your tip sheet now. That's perfect, man. That's perfect. I probably yeah, rock, I rock with that. Yeah, I'm gonna rock, definitely gonna rock. Let me see how that yeah. looks. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. So, have a small business and looking for more customers on social media. Watch this short video and download your free tip sheet now. Bam, dude. Perfect. Perfect. Can I change this? This app, sir? I don't know what the hell. Well, see, that's, that's, you can do that when you upload that video to the business page first. Um, um well, that's not that bad. <laughs> thumbnail. No, it's all good, man. Then you can you oh. you can change out that thumbnail. That's what that is, is a thumbnail. So that's why yeah. you have videos specifically always upload that video first to the business page. So hit publish and then mm -hmm. and then and then we're and then we're good, man. Hit publish. So now it's just publishing each one. So we should be good after this. Okay. Um, well, I went, I said, okay. Okay. Actually, so, so let's go into, um, hit that new ad at the, at the, all those red triangles, go click on all those and, and hit, hit publish. Actually, um, edit the URL field. What? I'll get it done and then um yeah then yeah, I guess hit me when up I'm... when you're done with that part add the video and then and then publish and let everything go in review and then hit me up okay all right, all right well, I appreciate it yes sir good job man thank you all right talk all to, right, you, talk soon. to you soon bye, -bye.